Hello, YouTube. Got another shipment going to Great Northern Knives. And I uh, thought maybe I'd give you guys a look at it. Uh, I didn't show the Alaskan um, survival knife. This is the first run is going to them. So I thought maybe I'd just uh, give a quick talk about it. And um, uh, really, I haven't tried it that much, but there's so many aspects of it that's, that's similar to other knife designs. I kind of meshed them all together and came up with this one. But I know that it's going to perform outstandingly. Uh, so, um, but the guys up at, uh, at Great Northern Knives has been trying it in Alaska and they just fell in love with it. So the first uh, few, I think there's seven, is going to um, Great Northern. So here's the table. This is what's going. Uh, turn you around here and take a look. Ooh, man, look at all that goodness right there. Got some, uh, the Alaskan survival knife. I'll talk about that a little bit more here in a little bit. Got some bush tools. Um, and look at those mosaics. Some of them have the mosaics. Even some of the Alaskans have the mosaics here. I got some Alaskan scouts with mosaics. And yep, they're getting a run of uh, a limited run of five. SK. So if you're wanting an SK in AEBL, they have a very limited number. But those are being shipped tomorrow. Okay? And just look at the shop. Look, it's getting better. What does that mean? <gasps> Moving. Yes. Uh, do an updated video on the new shop here soon. But uh, we started moving today and uh, we'll uh, move for the next few days over the weekend and also first part of next week. And get set up. Hopefully, we'll be operational in the new shop by midweek next week. Okay. All right. Let me sit down on the chair here, and let's talk about the Alaskan, the Alaskan survival knife. All right. So I've got an SK. A lot of people want to know the difference between this and the SK. So SK on top. All right. And survival knife on the bottom. The Alaskan Survival Knife. Completely different grinds. If you notice that this one here, the Alaskan Scout has a Scandi here where the uh, SK has a Sabre. So the SK um, is, uh, is, has a completely different grind, different blade shape. About the only thing similar is both of them have the thumb ramp. That's about the only thing that's similar about them. Even the handles are shaped a little different. So, um, Anyway, the length of the blade is about the same. The, the thickness of the steel is the same. But um, other than that, there's quite a bit of difference. But anyway, uh, it has the Scandi here for splitting power. Okay, it has a very high saber here for your slicing power. And each one has a very fine false edge on about the table for a very fine tip. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Get over here in the camera. See that tip? It's got a false edge. It's got the facet. See the facet there? So it strengthens that tip all the way. It's very fine. Um, so, I, you know, with that grind, with that high of a saber, trying to get that false edge in there, uh, you don't want a whole lot. Otherwise, you'll be bringing your false edge way down here too low. So with a raised tip like this one, it's more of a modified drop point for skinning big game like Alaska and up in the Northern Territories, elk, things like that. And it's a real beefy knife. Still has the balance right there where you'd want it. If I get in the camera here. Balance is right there. Okay. Well, you want, you, oh, you want them, uh, them knives to be balanced right there so that choke up on it and it feels like a small knife. Um, if you look at the grind on this, it's kind of unique. It's kind of reminiscent of the... Um, uh, the EDC and the uh, NK, the little NK, remember that little tooth there, that reinforced tooth? I mean, this will chew wood like a man. Paul Bunyan, he wished he had this knife. <laughs> It'll go through some wood, buddy. So um, anyway, that little reinforced edge there, you can see that little false, that facet on that edge. It's just, man, doing your chopping and things like that, Wish I had a. I wish I had a log. I'd go through it. Oh. 
start talking about knife design and get excited. But see how that, that blade uh, drops down? So you're, you're hitting the wood before you hit your hand. I mean, you, the blade is dropped. So it's got that cooker-esque uh, curve in it right here for all your chopping power. That's where all your chopping power is right there on that tooth. All right. So it'll go through a, 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 a log in just a matter of no time. Okay. This is a survival knife. And, and um, will it baton? That's going to be the question. Will it baton? Will it baton? All right, folks. I am not a, um, a fan of batoning. But yes, if you get logs that are at least half the size of the blade, it will baton. Okay? Just don't try to kill it. I mean, it's, there's vibrations and harmonics that goes along with these knives that, that nobody wants to talk about. So, word of caution. If you baton really reasonable, realistically, then you'll be fine on all my knives, okay? It's when you're trying to baton a four inch knife or a five inch knife blade in a four inch log that's got knots and it's seasoned oak and all this other stuff, that's just ludicrous. Don't do that, okay? But reasonable batoning, by all means have at it. Take proper technique, don't try to kill it with a sledgehammer, You'll be all right, okay? Just be reasonable with it. All right. So um, the mosaics, some of them have mosaics. Uh, some of them, if they have a mosaic, then they do not have the Bodro divot. See? The ones that don't have mosaics has a Bodro divot. All right. See, this one has the facet as well. There. I love that grind. That grind is just fantastic. Man, I might get pretty good at them grinds after a while. Um, and the Alaskan Scout, there's your Alaskan Scouts, it's got the little mosaics on there, there's uh, I think four or five of them that have mosaics that's being sent, and also the bush tool, he has a couple of bush tools, let's see, yeah, two bush tools, it's got the mosaic on there, okay, so those are being sent to Great Northern tomorrow. So they should have them probably midweek next week if the mail runs like it should, okay? Because mail is kind of hit and miss now, folks, uh, especially going to Alaska. Who knows what's gonna happen? But they will be mailed on my end tomorrow, and as soon as the post office gets them there, then they'll be able to ship them out to you. But word of caution, these will not last long. I know I say that on all the videos. It's because it's true, okay? Um, so if you want one, I would suggest that you contact Great Northern Knives and let them know, and uh, they will set one aside for you, okay? So with that said, look for the new shop update uh, probably uh, next week sometime. We'll do a brief walkthrough on it or something. I don't know. Let you guys know that, hey, we're open and operational. Um, so really looking forward to getting in that full time and got a new guy coming to work for me. Well, he's been helping out for the past couple of days, doing a great job, mostly getting, helping me get moved. He's doing good at that. And, uh, so we'll start him off on some handles or something next week and, uh, get him going on that. But, uh, he catches on pretty quick. He does. So I think that we'll be fine with that. Um, all right. I can't think of anything else. Great Northern. Oh, Great Northern has a stamp that is coming in about two weeks. So um, the blades that are proprietary to Great Northern lives, such as this Alaskan survival knife, uh, this one has the one on it. Okay. If you want one with a one, you better grab these because I don't know how many he's going to want with the one because at some point they'll come with a mammoth on it, their, uh, their logo. So if you want one with a one for a per first production run, you better grab these, okay? Because I don't know how many Jeff's going to want with the one on it. All right? But the like the Alaskan Scout, um, uh, the Bush Tool, um, the, uh, I don't know, all the knives that, that Jeff has commissioned me to make specifically for his store will have the Mammoth. It'll be a, like a woolly map. If you look at their logo on their store, that's what it is. All right. So those are, those, the blades are going to be stamped with that. Okay. So that's coming uh, soon. 
that's it. You guys have a wonderful weekend. I've got to do some chores around the house. I've been putting off. We've got to do some grass stuff. We had a limb fall. We lost power for a day. It <laughs> put me a day behind on everything. I was supposed to have these shipped out today. But lost a day because of no power in the shop. Um, so they'll be shipped out tomorrow, Saturday. And um, But anyway, i got to clean up some a limb, a big, huge oak limb that fell. And i got to saw it up, cut it up for some floor wood. And... Um, do some yard work. Hopefully the, the yard is dried enough to do it. I, I, haven't, I haven't been able to cut the grass all year yet. I mean, it's been so wet. So I'm hoping that it's dried up by now. So anyway, we're gonna try it. I gotta do some of that and uh, trying to organize the shop. Gotta go get some supplies for next week and just busy, 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 busy. Wouldn't have it any other way. All right? But you guys are awesome. Don't let anybody tell you different. Get in the backyard with it on a stick. Be sure and take a child with you. And we'll catch you guys again very soon. Don't forget the plenty of band-aids and lots of knives. Have a good one.